Hello my dear creative friend. I am thrilled to welcome you today and I want to share with you a book that is so powerful and so profound in its message. You will see why. And I want you to really think about this, take it all in and consider how you spend the gift of time in your life. Enjoy. Philosophers have explained space. They have not explained time. It is the inexplicable raw material of everything. With it, all is possible. Without it, nothing. The supply of time is truly a daily miracle, an affair genuinely astonishing when one examines it. You wake up in the morning and lo, your purse is magically filled with 24 hours of the unmanufactured tissue of the universe of your life. It is yours. It is the most precious of possessions. A highly singular commodity showered upon you in a manner as singular as the commodity itself. For remark, no one can take it from you. It is unstealable and no one receives either more or less than you receive. Talk about an ideal democracy. In the realm of time, there is no aristocracy of wealth and no aristocracy of intellect. Genius is never rewarded by even an extra hour a day. And there is no punishment. Waste your infinitely precious commodity as much as you will and the supply will never be withheld from you. Moreover, you cannot draw on the future. Impossible to get into debt. You can only waste the passing moment. You cannot waste tomorrow. It is kept for you. You cannot waste the next hour. It is kept for you. I said the affair was a miracle, is it not? You have to live on this 24 hours of daily time. Out of it, you have to spin health, pleasure, money, content, respect, and the evolution of your immortal soul. Its right use, its most effective use, is a matter of the highest urgency and of the most thrilling actuality. All depends on that. Your happiness, the elusive price that you are all clutching for, my friends, depends on that. The supply of time, though gloriously regular, is cruelly restricted. Which of us lives on 24 hours a day. And when I say lives, I do not mean exists, nor muddles through. Which of us is free from that uneasy feeling that the great spending departments of his daily life are not managed as they ought to be? Which of us is not saying to himself, which of us has not been saying to himself all his life, I shall alter that when I have a little more time. We never shall have any more time. We have, and we have always had, all the time there is.